tomatoes. For many, they are a fruit, a healthy option for a snack, and a good source of vitamin C and potassium. You can see them in salads, pizzas, and ketchup, and most of the world loves them, but I myself can summarize tomatoes in one word. Disgusting. This video was brought to you by BetterHelp. He doesn't like tomatoes. I'm not stupid because I don't like tomatoes. Yes, you are. Shut up. You look like a tomato. Tomatoes are delicious. She does, and I'm not. I'm not stupid because I hate tomatoes. They are disgusting and also trying to take over the world. Them and cats. Where are you up to? If you're wondering how much I hate tomatoes, do you see this here? This is something called the Piranha Solution. It's a mix of sulfuric acid and hydrogen peroxide. And I dropped a tomato inside that. And that tomato was decomposed in seconds. It looks like a demon being exercised. And I did that just for fun. Because I hate tomatoes. I will never see them as a viable option of nutrition. They have a disgusting taste and a goopy texture. I can't really use them as fuel for my body. But what I can try to do is use them as fuel for my rockets. Tomatoes are mainly made up of water, sugar and fibers. Sugar and fibers I might be able to turn into a propellant. But water is not very useful. So my first task was to dry the tomatoes. And for that purpose, I first needed to crush them into a pulp. A task that I did with much pleasure. I needed to crush a lot of tomatoes, so I asked for the help of my sister Clara. She kind of helped at first, but her successful strike rate was very, very low. <laughs> she sucks at it! What would you expect from a tomato lover? For a job well done, I called my sister Luana, who gave the tomatoes the business. Now, you might be wondering, is it safe to let a 12-year-old handle an automatic airsoft gun? Well, it's not, but it's a lot of fun. Come and get me, Osha. As fun as that was, I had to use a blender in the end because the pulp needs to be very thin. Then I put the result in the oven at 150 degrees Celsius to dry. And dry it did not. What I got was a toasted tomato paste that is even more disgusting than the original form. Luckily, I remember that I can just buy dry tomatoes, which I crushed into a fine powder. Have you guys ever seen tomato powder? Because it's a fresh for me too. <laughs> Still disgusting. So I had my tomato powder, which is my fuel. But to turn it into a propellant, I was gonna need an oxidizer. And for that purpose, I used potassium nitrate, which is also a fertilizer. And that is pretty funny if you think about it, because the thing that is normally used to grow tomatoes is gonna be used to destroy them. I weighed about 35 grams of tomato powder and 65 grams of potassium nitrate, and then mixed them using the good old dancing technique. Then I arranged the result in a fine line and... That is a joke. Don't snort tomatoes. Or propellants. Actually, don't snort anything. Moment of truth. Three, two, one. It's kind of working. It's kind of working. Can you see this? Look. It's not the best propellant ever, but it's working. Look, what? I tried some different proportions of tomato powder and oxidizer, and the one that worked the best was a 50-50 mixture. As you can see, the combustion leaves behind a white compound, which I think is calcium carbonate. Calcium carbonate is what eggshells are made of, being the conclusion to all of this that when you burn tomatoes, you get eggs. Okay, I think I fulfilled my duty for this video. I just proved you can turn tomatoes into rocket fuel. It's just not a good one. And that's my main point. Tomatoes are worthless. They are not even good to burn. Now, a lot of people think I'm insane because I hate tomatoes. But I'm not alone on this. I have people that support my cause. Right, Tom? Joel, you are an idiot. Carlo? You're joking. We love tomatoes in Italy. Jay. This isn't what you think. It's an avocado. James? Has anybody got a lovely tin of tomatoes? 
Other James? Ugh. Joel. What the f Joel? Other Joel? Isn't your favorite dish Francesinha? I'm pretty sure it's got tomato on the sauce. What? Of course it doesn't. Does it? But isn't your logo a tomato? No, it's an apple. It's like Newton and stuff, you know? It's an apple with a mustache. Well, that doesn't matter. Tomatoes are worthless. That's my point. End of the video. Fade to black. Okay, but what if you nitrated the tomato, right? Because tomatoes have a bit of cellulose in them, right? And if you have cellulose, that means you can make nitrocellulose, which is an explosive and also a, a pretty good propellant. So you could turn a tomato directly into rocket fuel with a nitration bath. I mean, the catch being, of course, um, you probably have to dry this out really well, and there's still no guarantee that this won't completely turn into tar in your nitration bath. And there's probably a whole lot of other issues, but... I mean, it might be possible. You, you could turn this tomato into rocket fuel <laughs> through a nitration. Maybe. Nitrocellulose? What is that? Nitrocellulose is what substituted black powder as the new gunpowder. It's also used as flash paper in magic tricks and it's a very good propellant. You might remember that I said that tomatoes are made up of water, sugar and fibers. Those fibers are cellulose that are the building blocks for vegetable cells, is what paper is made of and can also be turned into a pretty flashy propellant. To turn cellulose into nitrocellulose, you need to nitrate the cellulose, a process that I don't really know much about. So I asked for the help of my friend Tom. He has an almost PhD in chemistry. Yeah, that's uh, better than your masters, isn't it? Well, at least I finished mine. Oh, you graduated. Oh, man, man. Yeah... Mother f Anyway, Tom told me I can prepare a nitration bath using potassium nitrate and sulfuric acid. So I got some sulfuric acid and I burned myself with it. I know what you're thinking. Joel, when handling dangerous chemicals, you should probably wear safety glasses and a lab coat. And that's true, but also, lab coats are for p Hey mate, no talking trash about safety equipment, alright? Lab coats are cool, you can't even eat a tomato. Oh yeah? You know what I can eat? Your Before I tested the nitration process on a tomato, I did it in cotton, which is 100% cellulose and normally used to make gun cotton. I mean, it's in the name. I mix 120 grams of potassium nitrate and 44 milliliters of sulfuric acid. This creates nitric acid and other stuff that I don't really care about. What you need to know is that it releases a ton of toxic gases and a lot of heat. So I prepared the container chilled by ice and I went outside. I pour the mixture into the container and I put the cotton in. Then I put that in a plastic container that I marked as dangerous in Portuguese. Because I'm Portuguese. Not Russian. Easy, Joel. Easy. Just breathe. This reaction can't go over 20 degrees Celsius, or the nitric acid starts decomposing into something that is not nitric acid. So, for 24 hours, I measure the temperature of that cotton like it was a sick kid trying to avoid school. After 24 hours, I rinse the cotton in water and let it dry, and then give it a test. And moment of truth. Okay, three, two, one. Well, it's burning better, but uh, still a failure. This is not what gun cotton is supposed to look like. I think I'm gonna have to bring the big guns. And by big guns, I mean this. This is 60% nitric acid. And if there's anything in this world that is good at nitrating stuff, well, it's nitric acid. Now, if you're wondering, in Texas, if you had nitric acid, why didn't you use it earlier? Well, I didn't have it. It was a struggle to buy it. They don't sell it to everyone. Especially me. Sponsor time. Life is hard. If this was a video game, it would put Dark Souls to shame. It's not easy dealing with adult life, and nobody has all the answers. For that reason, we all sometimes need a little help to improve our mental health. And as long as you're getting help, you might as well get BetterHelp. BetterHelp is an online service that provides direct counseling with a licensed professional. Because it's an online service, it's available worldwide and is considerably more affordable than offline therapy with the possibility of financial aid. 
I personally suffer from anxiety that sometimes prevents me from being productive and achieving my goals. The best way to be happy is to be able to identify your problems and know when to get help. If you in any way feel uneasy about anything in your life, give BetterHelp a shot because it's worth it and it might change your life forever. Visit betterhelp.com slash Intagza, that's better H-E-L-P, and join the over 1 million people taking charge of their mental health with the help of an experienced professional. You can also get 10% off your first month at betterhelp.com slash Intagza. Back to the video. So in this container I'm going to mix 50-50 of sulfuric acid and nitric acid. Why would I do that? Well, the nitric acid is going to do the nitration of the cotton, while the sulfuric acid is going to absorb all the water that is coming out of that reaction. So it's stabilized and it doesn't go wrong. Now, as you can imagine, mixing two of the most dangerous acids on earth is not a good idea. It's like asking for a vodka whiskey. You don't do it unless you have a pretty good idea or you just got fired. But anyway, first the sulfuric acid. As you can see, this is already fuming. This is not good for your health. Don't breathe this in in any circumstances. Just to mix it in pretty well. So I need this to get to room temperature. So I'm going to put it in a bowl filled with ice. minutes later the best way to neutralize sulfuric acid and nitric acid is with baking soda and water so I dipped the gun cotton into a baking soda and water mixture. Then I placed it in a glass pan and I put it in the oven at 100 degrees Celsius to dry. And after 10 minutes, this happened. Yep, the gun cotton self-ignited with just the 100 degrees Celsius from the cooking oven. And that's pretty awesome because it means it works, but also not that awesome because I lost all the gun cotton that I had. So I repeated the process and this time I dried it using only 60 degrees Celsius. As you can see, this is the end result. It's basically cotton. Uh, it's a little bit yellowish, but anyway, let's give it a test to see if it actually works. Okay, three, two, one. Oh, no residue. Look, it worked. It finally worked. Oh yeah. Oh, let's try it again. Okay. The, the lighter is not cooperating. Oh, here it is. One, two, three. Okay, this one left some residue, but still, it burns pretty quickly. So, for reference, this is gun cotton and this is regular cotton. You wanna see the difference in the burn rate? Okay, so, regular cotton. Well, it doesn't burn too bad, but it's quite slow when you compare it to gun cotton. Awesome. <laughs> Never gets old. Okay, now we have here more or less the same amount of nitrocellulose and black powder. The old gun powder. Let's touch with the with the black powder. Oh it ignited the, the nitrocellulose. Well, I didn't really think this through, did I? Maybe if I put them farther apart. Okay, now they are farther apart. Here we have black powder, the old gunpowder, and here we have nitrocellulose. Let's see which one burns faster. I would say they're burning more or less at the same rate. Now we have here my tomato gunpowder versus the nitrocellulose. Let's give it a test. Tomato gunpowder. It's still burning. Nitrocellulose. Gone. 
As long as I had the nitrocellulose, that was something that I wanted to try. Okay, magic trick time. Ah, ouch, 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 so hot! I burned my hand. Before I could nitrate a tomato, I needed to isolate the cellulose, which means I needed to get rid of the water and the sugars. The water was easy because I had dried tomatoes, but to get rid of the sugars, I prepared a solution of water, soap, hydrogen peroxide and bleach. Then I rinsed them and I set them to dry in the oven. Once they were dry, I nitrated them, which gave them a yellowish color. Okay, moment of truth. I have here the nitrated tomatoes. I'm gonna give a test to one of them. Okay. Oh! It's working! Look! I mean, it's not as fast as the cotton. Oh, that's amazing. I can't believe that worked. It worked! Look! I know it's not like as flashy as the cotton, but it's a tomato. What are you expecting? It's pretty amazing. Did you see how fast it worked? I'm gonna try another one. I tried burning other nitrated tomatoes, but they didn't burn as well. I guess I got lucky in my first try. I guess we can finally get to the main point of this video. Tomatoes suck, and they have no use whatsoever. A lot of people ask me if I actually don't eat tomatoes, or if it's just a gimmick for the videos. It's not a gimmick. I remember once a cafeteria lady put tomato in my sandwich by accident, and I almost puked in public. I can handle cooked tomatoes, but I avoid them, and raw tomatoes are just out of the question. This video is actually a celebration in disguise for the fact that this channel reached half a million subs. Unless I put it in the title. In that case, no disguise. I never really thought this channel would grow so big, but I did make a promise that I would do a Portuguese voice reveal once this channel reached half a million subs. In order to keep my promise, I'm going to do the printer giveaway in Portuguese. No meu último vídeo ofereci uma impressora 3D para o comentário com mais gostos que sugerisse um tema para um vídeo no futuro. O vencedor foi Gokalex e ele sugeriu que eu podia usar pólvora para explodir tomates. Bem, eu acho que neste vídeo fiz melhor do que isso. Se também queres ganhar uma impressora 3D, tudo o que tens de fazer é subscrever ao canal, deixar um gosto neste vídeo e publicar um comentário e sugerir um tema para um vídeo futuro. Neste vídeo não vou dar apenas uma impressora, mas três. Por isso inspira-te e começa a escrever. A special thanks to all the content creators that helped me celebrate the special landmark, especially Tom and Carlo that I thoroughly annoyed with chemistry questions. You can find their channels in the description below. Well, this is everything for today. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing to my channel. Thanks to you guys, I can do what I love for a living. And for that, all I can say is... Obrigado! And remember, tomatoes are disgusting. See ya! It burns through my skin. Look. I know you're bad. You're not fooling me. So for a few years, you die. You die because it doesn't like to. You're gonna kill me with a pen. And then in your other life, you go, oh, I should have liked tomatoes. No, I prefer to die. <laughs>